On the left is a golf ball, and on the right is a lead fishing weight. The mass of the golf ball is 45 grams, and the mass of the lead fishing weight is 2,800 grams. They are hanging from the ceiling by fishing wire. The mass of the lead fishing weight is substantially higher than the golf ball. We're going to take the lead fishing weight, we're going to pull it back, and then we're going to let go. Okay, here's our question. What's going to happen? Now we're going to see this in slow motion. The path of the lead fishing weight does not seem to be affected at all by the golf ball. It seems to follow the same path before the collision as afterwards, whereas the golf ball does accelerate. It increases its speed. Okay, let's try something else now. This time, let's pull back the golf ball and let it set in motion and let it collide with the fishing weight. What do you think is going to happen this time? Let's take a look at this in slow motion. The path of the golf ball seems to have changed. The direction that it was going has been altered and the speed has changed, so therefore the golf ball has changed velocity. Let's try one final thing. This time we're going to take the golf ball and lead fishing weight and we're going to draw them both back and send them on a collision toward each other. Based on the other two demos you've seen, what do you think is going to happen here? We're going to watch this in slow motion, and you can see that the path of the lead fishing weight does not seem to have changed, whereas the golf ball's path has changed direction and changed speed. Based on these demos, well, what's going on with the science here? Remember, the object's masses are greatly different, with the lead fishing weight having substantially more mass. The more mass an object has, the greater its inertia. Inertia is the tendency of an object to resist a change in motion. So the inertia of the lead fishing weight is much greater than the golf ball. Its path of travel is very hard to change with an outside unbalanced force, whereas the golf ball's inertia is way lower because it has less mass. Its motion can be changed much easier since it has less inertia. How does this relate to real life? Well, an example can be found in American football. Those American football players who have more mass are harder to tackle and change their motion, whereas the smaller the player with less mass, it's much easier to tackle them or change their motion.